today's review I've decided to go to an album which I, uh, I bought recently on a reissue but I've had the original for a number of years um, and the album is this uh, it's the first specials album um, on two-tone label uh, as you can see it's a white vinyl um, and it's basically been, it was remastered last year so I thought I'd uh, lump up and get it I actually I bought this from a popular online retailer, which I usually don't buy from, um, but I had a gift voucher to use, uh, and I've been sitting on it until something came up that I really wanted, so uh, this was it. I usually prefer to go to my local shops. Um, so yeah, so it's a special, so they are. Coventry Boys, uh, they're all there. They're not all there. Uh, the brass section are on the front picture, but uh, the rest of them are. Um, and then on the back, there they are again, uh, looking up. What's quite nice is actually they're looking up at the camera, which is kind of up here somewhere, but then <clears throat> here it, it's the same, almost identical picture. And it's actually, you know, so if I've got the original press in here, you can kind of see a kind of it's kind of it's almost the same picture from a different angle. Um, inside, um, it just came in a plain white, quite thick card, not card paper sleeve and I'll put it in an anti stat bag just to keep it nice and clean. And there's the white vinyl. So we've got a two tone label. Okay, um, and then on the other side, like that. Uh, with our two tone man just there. Um interestingly produced by Elvis Costello, quite famous in his own right. Not a lot of people know that. He actually released a single on the two tone label, which if you can find it is worth a little bit of money. Not loads. Um I've got a copy of it, great actually. Um, so yeah, he was obviously uh, loving this when he first heard it. Um, all in all, actually, as a repressing, it's quite nice. It's, I mean, this is true to the original, it's nice and bright. I'll compare it to the original in just a sec. I have to say that the actual vinyl itself, I did find the edges of the disc. I had to, it was a bit crisp, crispy and crusty, I had to kind of get rid of all the flaky stuff off there, but overall, quite happy with it. Um, it sounds fantastic, and I'll come to that in a little while. Um, this is the original one, so um, back in '79 when it was released, um, it's a little bit of a state. I think I I got this from a bloke at a car boot sale. Um, I got this one in the second specials album, I think for a tenner, something like that. Um, so that's what the original one looks like. So same kind of label. Um, a little bit thinner vinyl, a lot thinner vinyl, but it was late 70s, oil shortages and all that. Plain paper bag, I don't think they came with anything else. They did, in the less good one. Although, if there was anything else, you'd assume that they would have put it on the repress, so, uh, no. So basically, this album was, uh, it was remastered digitally, it wasn't recorded digitally, it was remastered digitally last year, and actually all of the albums, there's three of them, so there's the first album, More Specials, which is the second one, and then the third one's called Special AKA in the Studio, which wasn't all the members, just some of them, um, they re-released them all on CD, and they, I've, I bought them all, the, the, the day they came out, there's no way I wasn't going to buy them, um, and they sound absolutely great, so I was really excited when they were going to repress the 2014 masters, uh, repress, remasters, sorry, onto the vinyl, no brainer, of course I'm going to get it. Um, it sounds fantastic, sounds lovely. Uh, what do I know about the specials? First time I heard the specials was when I was younger. Um, I started playing the trumpet when I was young and my dad got quite excited. Being from the Midlands, he wanted me to play me some specials and he played me this thing here, this very actual thing. Uh, this is a, it's a little seven inch EP, a live EP from the specials, Two Inch Too Young. When I heard that thing, that first tune, that title track, um, I just, I remember the moment, I just, what is this? I need to hear this. I must have been seven or eight years old. Um, and ever since then, I've had a bit of an affinity with Two Tone, the label and the releases on it and the bands and stuff. I've been very lucky to play with a number of people um, on the Two Tone label, never with the specials, but with many members of the specials at different times, because like, they only reformed a couple of years ago. Um, 
So ever since I heard that, I've been absolutely hooked. Now the version of Too Much Too Young on here is the studio version, and it's a lot slower, a lot slower uh, than the live version, but then you kind of, um, you assume that. Uh, so what to know about the album? It's ska, uh, what we would call second wave ska, so 70s, uh, late 70s, early 80s in England, so bands like this, early madness, um, Bob Manners, uh, The Selector, Body Snatchers, things like that. Um, so they did a lot of tunes, so kind of like Message to You, Rudy, um, and Monkey Man uh, are all tunes um, which were written and played in the, in the first wave of Scar, which was in Jamaica and kind of in the 60s. Um, and actually, these guys got hold of it in, in the mid to late 70s and thought, well, we want to do that. So they did it again and, and they kind of repopularized Scar in the 70s. There's actually a third wave in the 90s, it's kind of this punky Scar thing, kind of less than Jake. And, you know, big fish and that kind of thing, which were they had the merits. Um, so this is very much second wave scar. Um, it does feel very stripped down when you listen to it. It doesn't feel kind of overly produced. But then I think that's that's. I mean, obviously Elvis Costello did the production on it. I think that's what he was going for, and I think he was quite successful. Um, Nightclub, Concrete Jungle, Monkey Man. I mean, this is. I mean, look at the track list. This is absolutely chock a block, one hundred percent, full of absolutely fantastic tunes. And I genuinely, I love this album. Um, I don't get to play it very often because other people in the house don't like it, if you know what I mean. Uh, but you should definitely give it a listen. You can find it on YouTube. I won't post a link out of respect for the artists because they are amazing. Um, and at some point I'll get around to reviewing the More Specials album. I hope they re release that on a coloured vinyl. That'd be quite nice. Um, and possibly the In The Studio album as well. Um, yep. And so, so that's it, really. Um, you should go and listen to this album um, and you should buy it. Um, because they all need they all need to be heard, and they're wonderful people as well. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please subscribe, Twitter stuff. Excellent. Ciao.